All right, happy holidays. You're truly Dr. Barry Pierre. And yes, we are in the midst of the holiday season. If you're catching this when the episode drops, first of all, shout out to you, right? My YouTube subscriber, my podcast subscriber. Shout out to you for always checking us out when the episode drops because y'all are amazing, right? We do not want to forget that. But if you aren't, right? Like we are dropping this the week of Thanksgiving. So by this time, you know, there's friends, there's family, there's food. If you're in a healthcare space, you're probably, you might be working, right? It is what it is, right? Like it, you know, it is one of those things where as a physician for a while, my wife would be like, oh, hey, hey, you know, so-and-so holidays coming up. And I'm like, well, okay, what does that mean, right? Because majority of the time, especially when I was a resident, I had to work anyways, right? So the fact that it was a holiday didn't really mean much to me because, hey, as a resident, we worked all of those days, right? There weren't really too many days that we got off from a holiday perspective. So but fast forward, you know, we're in a tenic style. We we get some days off, right? So we'll be we'll be enjoying ourselves with the with friends and family as well. But most importantly, I want us to start thinking about, hey, what's the game plan? Because we've got about five weeks left, right? So if you're watching this when it comes out, we got about five weeks left to the end of the year. We got five weeks left to the fact that it's gonna be 2025. And the question I gotta ask, if you've been with the Lunch Alert community. You already know the question I'm gonna ask. The question I gotta ask is, how did our New Year's resolutions go down? Yes, we are talking about it. You might be saying, come on, Dr. Barry, man. We like, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm with family. I'm like, I'm not really trying to talk about my New Year's resolutions right now. Uh, but guess who is talking about that? Your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, right? Who you told you were gonna do some things this year. You said that, hey, in the year 2024, this is gonna be my year. And I'm gonna do A, B, and C. And now, it's Thanksgiving time, family's around the table, and everyone's asking, hey, did you end up doing A, B, or C? They're not even saying, did you do A, B, and C? They're asking, did you do either of the things that you said you were gonna do come January? And a deep sigh of disappointment, you gotta let them know, nah, I didn't, I didn't get that done. In fact, that goals and aspiration, that was gone in like March. Because for a lot of people, March is usually the time frame where all of our resolutions or all of our goals and aspirations of what we're gonna do for this year tend to kind of dissipate, tend to kind of fall to the wayside. I want y'all to treat, you know, I want y'all to treat the lunch and community like a safe space. This is a safe space, y'all. Y'all could let me know if y'all didn't do well, right? If you're my YouTuber, uh, drop it in the comments. Let us know what resolutions that you set out in 2024 that did not get completed in the year 2024. More importantly, right? And shout out to those who might have been knocking this out of the park. If you had some resolutions that you said, hey, in the year 2024, I'm going to do this. And in the year 2024, you are doing exactly that. I want to know as well too, right? We celebrate all successes and right. We, you know, we cheer on even when we have a failure, right? Like both of them get the same level of attention from us, right? Because we don't want the failures to be a draw. And, you know, we, last week we talked about grief. We don't want that to be, you know, a reason and why we're carrying some grief around. But more importantly, we don't want to carry any burdens of grief in the year 2025. I hope you don't. If you're watching this show, listening to this show, you don't want to be carrying no extra burden that you should not be carrying. So we're going to be talking about our news resolutions. And more importantly, we're going to start getting on the ball now. Because what typically happens after November, after you spend time with the friends and the family, and they let you know that you didn't hit your New Year's resolutions, you start plotting and gaming and scheming. All right, come January 1st, once that ball dropped, I'm going in. And what I want us to do is not wait till January 1st to start doing something. I want us to start thinking about, hey, what are the tasks that I need to do in December? I want Christmas to come around and you're already working on the task, the resolution, the change, the transformation, whatever that thing is. I want December to come around and you're already on the ball. Let's kind of look back. Let's zoom ourselves out a little bit. Let's think about what happened in January and February, March, 2024. Let's ask ourselves, hey, what was that resolution that I was trying to do? What was that transformation that I was looking for? More importantly, what were the obstacles that were in my way that ultimately won? Because what tends to happen a lot is that when we think about any type of change, transformation, whether it's I'm trying to lose weight, whether I'm trying to get off these medications, where I'm trying to reduce the number, my blood pressure or my cholesterol or whatever the thing is, we always have this 
goal that we can kind of see like we can see it like it's not a well-lit goal but it's a goal and then things kind of happen along the way whether it be time whether it be money whether it be other life stressors something happens that causes us to kind of stumble so one thing i want you to do i want you to one write down that goal and two i want you to talk about what were some of the obstacles in the way of the goal what were some of those things that caused you to trip up what were some of those things that caused you to say, you know what, maybe next year. And if I don't say anything, maybe no one will say anything to me. But guess what? I'm here. I am here to let you know, yes, you did have some resolutions that you say you were going to do in 2024. In fact, you might have said 2023 as well, too. But definitely in 2024, you said you were going to do it. But guess what? You're in the doctor's chair now, right? Like this is a safe space. We are going to talk our way through it and then get to moving. And we're not waiting to January 1st. We're not waiting to any type of ball drop to occur. No, we are going to get the game started right now. We are getting the transformation started right now. We are going to put plans to action right now now so i'm excited right because i think it's so important especially as a healthcare professional one who has to always you know i take care of a lot of patients right so i take care of a lot of patients who run into typical you know transformations usually evolving around health and i take care of patients again 18 and up 18 until they pass away and what we tend to see is that you know the older they get the more and more resolutions start piling but more importantly the more of those resolutions tend to be slanted towards, you know, being more androgenic, having less medications, you know, having better just health wise in general, right? When you're young, I want the most money. I want the whole bunch of cars. Like a lot of things are kind of tangible. When you get older, you start realizing there's some things that, you know, family, friends, time, you start valuing some things a lot more and you start realizing that like you can't value them unless you're at the healthiest that you can be. Because I take care of a lot of patients who are 70 years old, they're cutting a jig. And I take care of a lot of 50, 60 year old who are bed bound, in a wheelchair, in a cane, decrepit. Like it's a stark difference that if you do the things you need to do, right? You when you're young, right? Like when you're old, you reap the benefits. But more importantly, if you do the things you need to do in the beginning, AKA around the new year, at the end, you reap the benefits. And a lot of times when we're thinking about like, all right, I'm trying to get to point B. I'm not even talking about point Z yet. I'm just trying to get to point B. I feel like point B is so far away that like, uh, I'm not gonna try that. I ain't gonna do that. Like you start telling yourselves, right? So like write down some of the obstacles that were in your way this year, because if you don't write them down, right? We don't know how to do the next step, right? Ask yourself individually for each obstacle that you have, what is one way I could have done to prevail over that obstacle? And the reason why I want y'all to do that especially it's much more difficult to do while you're fighting over the obstacle while you're tripping over the obstacle it tends to be a little bit more difficult to plot and scheme ways to get through the obstacle around the obstacle over under like it's usually difficult to do so while the obstacle is happening to you but as we yeah as we as we zoom forward and we're like we're at the point now where we're there is no obstacle because i'm not even trying to do the the transformation that i wanted to do it tends to be a little bit easier to kind of game plan and strategize for it right so i think the next step is definitely writing down and i don't want you to write 10 things down that's how we get in trouble in the first place right because we want to do 10 different new year's resolutions choose one one important thing in fact what i'll do i'm gonna i'm gonna put a link to and i it's like this motivation motivation guy who i follow no who, who's like clips i saw uh where he just talked about like you know write your goals down and after you write your goals down you know take out a piece of paper and then point to one goal that would change your life forever like there'll be a link in the show notes about that because uh, i think it's a it's a pretty good clip i'm not sure if copyright purposes will allow me to do it while like it's going right so i don't want no youtube copyright hits to hit, hit my channel so uh, I'll put a link to it and then we'll send you over to, to find that episode. But uh, it's a pretty good synopsis of just kind of, hey, figuring out what's the one goal, right? Because I think, and I've, and I've had prior episodes about this as well. The fact that when we're thinking about our New Year's resolutions, we like will like plot like 10 different ones we want to change. And nine times out of 10, we never do all 10. In fact, we usually do zero out of 10 because we try to do all 10, right? So like understand that we're talking about one New Year's resolution, one resolution, one transformation that we're looking for 
for. That's why I say, you know what? I want you to tell me one way to get over the obstacle that was in your way, right? I just want you to do it one way. And then our next step, right? We are going to now, because we already know what our resolution is going to be. We already know what the obstacles are before we get to the obstacles. We already know what the solutions to each individual obstacle is before we get to the obstacle, right? We already know these things. We're having them written down. I don't want y'all to just think them out in your mind. I want them written down somewhere on a piece of paper, typed up in a Word document somewhere so that when you do run into the obstacle, because you will, when you do run into the obstacle, you could be able to refer like, oh, hold on, this is happening. This is what we're gonna do. And now, right, this is gonna be the tough one, right? This is gonna be a tough one. I want you to tell someone. I want you to tell someone, hey, this is what I'm doing in the year 2025, right? For me, like I can tell you, like I'll tell y'all mine, right? I am going to be losing weight in the year 2025. Now, I should have lost weight in 2024, but when I did my, like, and you'll see when I did my little thing, fortunately losing weight wasn't the top, top priority, right? It wasn't the biggest thing that would have changed my life, but next year it will be, right? Cause I'm, I've said it so. So I already know like in the year 2025, it's all about losing weight. And I already know about the obstacles associated with losing weight, whether it be time, whether it be money, whether it be too hard, whether it be prior failures. I already know those things, right? And I already have solutions for each individual one when they come because I know they're gonna come. And then I'm gonna tell someone, right? I might tell y'all. In fact, guess what? I'm telling y'all now, right? You have to tell someone because someone needs to hold you accountable. A lot of times we don't like to tell people things because we don't wanna be held accountable. So you gotta tell someone so you can be held accountable. And then that next step, right, our next kind of push, right, to start our December resolution is we're gonna have to put it in writing as far as when are things gonna happen. Like say, hey, by March, I want blank to occur. By April, I want blank to occur. Like, you have to do it. I just want you guys to think about this, right? Let's say you had a task at work. You have a task at work and they say, hey, you know what? This task, I need you to get done, get it done by next Friday. So in your mind, you know, hey, I got till next Friday to do this thing here. So subconsciously, you're gonna pace yourself because you know you have till next Friday to do something. But if I come to you on Tuesday, say, hey, I need that same task done this Friday, that same task that a different person said, do it next Friday. Hey, you know what? I know they told you next Friday, but we need the task this Friday. All of a sudden, Subconsciously, guess what you do? You start ripping and running and you make sure that task is done this Friday instead of the next Friday. You have to ask yourself, well, Dr. Baby Pierre, would I have finished that task by this Friday if I knew I had till next Friday to do so? Someone's gonna do it, so let me put that disclaimer out there. The majority of people are not going to say, you know what, I know I got something done till next Friday, but I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it this Friday. Subconsciously, if the majority of people know they have till next Friday, their work effort, the mental energy they're gonna put behind it is gonna make sure they finish it by next Friday, not by the Friday coming up. Until someone said, your boss said, hey, I need that thing this Friday. So that's the thing, right? You gotta say, hey, what are my resolutions, like what is the thing I wanna change? Number two, what are the obstacles in the way that I know I'm gonna run into for the things I'm trying to change? Number three, what is one solution to every single obstacle I know I'm gonna run into? Now that, again, that part may be the hardest part for some people to complete. I hate, I hate that I'm giving y'all homework during holidays, but y'all not gonna finish it during holidays. December is when y'all gotta do this work, so. But what are the things I need to do, right, to overcome each individual obstacle? Like, I need you to do that as well. Number four, I want you to just tell someone, right? Tell someone because we know accountability matters. Accountability will push and pull and get you to the finish line like no other thing will. And last but not least, I need you to set some deadline goals and dates to say, hey, I need to finish it by this time frame. And again, what, what tends to happen when you have a New Year's resolution you say, hey, you know what? I got all of 2024 to do this thing. How many people in the comments like, or listen on the podcast and say, yeah, you know what? I told myself I got all of 2024 to do this thing. I look up, it's Thanksgiving. I didn't do the thing. And it's because you said, I got all of 2024 to do this. I don't want you to do that, y'all. I don't want y'all to wait and tell yourself you have a whole year to do something. No, I want you to have, there may be short-term goals, intermediate goals, long-term goals, especially if I'm thinking about blood pressure issues, if I'm thinking about losing weight, gaining weight, getting stronger, if I'm thinking about all these different things here, you're not gonna lose the weight overnight. You're not gonna get super bulk overnight. That's not gonna happen. That's not realistic. I should put a little caveat. Make sure your stuff is realistic. Make sure your goals are realistic. 
realistic. Hope, I hope I don't have to say that. Make sure your goals are realistic. Talk to a healthcare provider, especially if it's, if your goals are centered around like health to make sure that you're getting realistic feedback and goals, right? Cause again, like I said, I don't want to say, oh, I'm gonna lose a hundred pounds by February. Not gonna happen. Just make sure your goals are realistic. Make sure you tell people, make sure you're accountable. Make sure you're setting the goals and timeline of goals. Whatever your resolution is, you should have a short-term goal that, hey, within the next month, I'm gonna do this. In fact, before the year 2025, for my New Year's resolution, I'm gonna have this done. Not I'm gonna have a New Year's resolution chosen. A lot of y'all do that. I'm gonna have a New Year's resolution chosen. No, no, no. I want you to have a New Year's resolution already chosen in December, and then you already start working on it. So by the time January 1st comes around, you can say, hey, my short-term goal of losing weight, I got to five pounds loss, right? Like something needs to occur for us to have a great 2025, right? And again, like I said, I'm excited, y'all. I know it's Thanksgiving. I know y'all not really trying to hear a long episode for me because you're trying to get to some food. You're trying to get to your friends and family, right? But I just wanted to come on here and say, hey guys, I see y'all. I love y'all it's been an absolute great year right for the year 2024 and my goal is to make sure that 2025 is just as amazing for you or is an improvement because you didn't like the way 2024 ended or you didn't like the way it started and you didn't finish your goals whatever that thing is i want to make sure there is an improvement for the year 2025 and i want you to get started now right we are not waiting until January to start this stuff. We are not waiting until January to start thinking about our New Year's resolution. We are not waiting until January to start thinking about the obstacles. We are not waiting until January to start holding ourselves accountable with solutions. We're not doing that, y'all. Not no more, because they don't work. They don't work, it ain't It ain't been working. It, ain't, it hasn't worked for a while, but like now that you're in a doctor's chair, we're just being honest with each other. It has not worked in a while, All right? Let's just be honest. So. I'm yours truly, Dr. Barry Pierre. You guys have a blessed, 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 happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, and I'm gonna see you guys next week.